This looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. The strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory, and there is no need to look at them again. Perhaps they'll be of use later. Graham wisely decides to keep his mouth shut. Mordak lies asleep on his huge, horrendous bed. Mordak's wand lies temptingly upon the small table near his bed. Graham waves Mordak's glowing wand, but nothing happens. Could it be that Crispin was right? That wands only respond to their owner, like a pet? Mordak lies asleep on his huge, horrendous bed. This would not be a good time to bother Mordak. Graham has found himself in a large room filled with many unusual contraptions and magical implements. His heart feels like bursting when he notices his beloved family imprisoned within a large glass bottle sitting upon a corner table. himself in a large room filled with many unusual contraptions and magical implements. His heart feels like bursting when he notices his beloved family imprisoned within a large glass bottle sitting upon a corner table. Graham has no idea what Mordek does with this strange contraption, but it couldn't be good. Inside the lower portion, a foul-smelling liquid bubbles, while two dangling spiked gizmos hang on a massive yoke above a couple of flat iron platters. Mordak's other gadgets don't interest Graham. The bizarre machine looks very intimidating and confusing, which makes Graham reluctant to touch it. Conversely, though, it also intrigues him.
What's going on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. That wasn't a very smart move for Green to make. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. <laughs> of Daventry. <laughs> strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory, and there is no need to look at them again. Perhaps they'll be of use later. Graham can see into Mordak's bedroom through the open doorway. Mordax's wand glows brightly with restrained power.
Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Mordax wand now barely glows. Perhaps its power has weakened while Kristen's old wand now appears completely energized. What's going on here? I'll take care of you. Graham waves Crispin's wand, which now pulsates with renewed power, but nothing happens. That wasn't a very smart move, Graham. like something may be after him. The scraggly bushes of the dry brushland taper off to a hot sandy desert as far as the eye can see to the west. To the east, Graham can see the sparse edge of Serenius Wood. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. 